Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chu and today we're going to be making a beat in the style of Wonder Girl. We're gonna be doing our best to replicate her sampling style. Drop a like on this video if you end up learning something new or just if you enjoy chilling with me for a few minutes. Smack that subscribe button so I can buzz away in your pocket the next time I have some dope new content for you and comment on what you wanna see in the future. All sounds used in this tutorial can be found in the 14 drum kit for free and a link to that will be in the description below. Also, this episode is sponsored by Tracklib, which is where we'll be finding our samples from. More on that later. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, subscribe to my newsletter, and thank you for three years of insane continuous support. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is just pull up Tracklib. Tracklib is cool because it just has like a crazy selection of samples. So we're looking for something that Wonder Girl would use, something dark, something ambient, something kind of like trippy and old. And that's why I really, really like like Tracklib is because like, it's just got this massive selection of samples. It's the first record store that's online ever. It's got over 150,000 pre-cleared samples from like every kind of generation and every type of vibe. It's crazy. You can literally log in, find a sample immediately. And they even have them separated into all these like dope little groups and stuff like, I mean, it's actually crazy in here. Like a lot of the beats you hear me make now that are sampled, they're literally just coming and grabbing a sample from Tracklib. You can make like anything, man. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna just go ahead and get started with searching because that's really the first part is finding like a good sample. That's like one of the most important things with sampling is finding a good sample. That's the first most important thing. So I like this synth sensational like theme collection i think that's what we're going to be looking for that kind of vibe so let's just see what they have in here i'll put a star on that <laughs> frank dukes That's it. Oh, they have like this little looping function. That's really cool in uh, Tracklib. Actually, that's actually really, really cool. I need to use that more. That's crazy. So you can hear like what parts you want to like sample. That's actually really dope. And then you can make it bigger. <laughs> that's so dope. That's crazy. Okay, so actually, I like this one a lot, so we're just gonna rock with this one. I think this is gonna give us the perfect vibe. I remember when I first started like making beats, it was so hard to get quality samples, and it was just difficult to like make any use of them until Tracklip came along. And the coolest part is that you can even take it one step further, because the thing that a lot of producers worry about is like, what am I gonna do with the sample if it gets placed? Am I gonna have to clear it? Is the artist gonna have to clear it? How are they gonna clear it? It's gonna be crazy expensive. Because like most of Tracklip's samples are in this category of the C class, which means that you can clear them for like only $50. And again, the producers don't even have to do that. That's the artist's job. But it's kind of insane that Tracklip has made it to where it's only $50. It's the most convenient way to get samples, clear samples, without having to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars to get lawyers and a bunch of other people involved. And like, trust me, I've been through that before. You don't want to go through that. Um, so like, again, just thank you to Tracklib for sponsoring another dope video. If you want to hit the first link in the description below, they gave me a really special link where you can access their entire platform for 30 days at no cost. And they'll even give you 15 track download tokens. So you can literally start downloading and sampling tracks legitimately for free with Tracklib today. So go ahead and check that out if you want to make a beat like what we're about to make today, or if you just want to make dope sample beats like I make or like other producers make all the time. Again, Tracklib, first link in the description, go check it out. But yeah, that is really the first like step of like getting into sampling like Wonder Girl or sampling like anyone in general is the sample selection is so important. Finding something that fits the vibe and something that it sounds good in general, you know? So now we're gonna get into what you actually need to do with the sample. So let's see, we're just gonna grab like a section of this and then chop that up. So we're gonna, we, we open this in Edison and that's what we're doing right now. Okay, cool. So you know what? I'm gonna do this in two sections. So first of all, 
I'm gonna set my tempo. Um, it's just really important to set your tempo for like beats that you're gonna sample ahead of time. So something that I know is that Wonder Girl works in the BPM of like 145 to 160, like really 155, like a lot. She gets her craziest, hardest bounces in those BPMs. So that's what I'm gonna be going for right off the bat. And you're gonna see why I had to set it at first in a second. But so we're gonna grab two sections of this, right? We're gonna grab this section right here. This is so groovy. I'm gonna let it loop one more time. You wanna turn on looping so you can hear it loop. And then we're gonna go ahead and see if it's a perfect loop real quick. Okay, so there was a little bit of stuttering there. And so we're gonna zoom in and see why. We can see that there's a little space before there, so we're gonna clean that up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check this out one more time to make sure I got it pretty close. You can see it's touching that beginning of the next section just a little bit. So I think this is perfect. I'm not even gonna, actually, let me just double check. Okay, so I've made a critical error. I did not take into account that this was written in like a waltz time. So I had to stretch it to four instead, which is fine. And then we're gonna come into both the samples and reset the pitch. Okay, so then we're gonna put both of these in one track. And then we're gonna export this track. We're gonna open up Fruity Slicer, which is like this dope FL Studio like um, beat slicing um, tool. It's built in and it's fire, man. There are a lot of like other really good options for sampling, but for, I'm, I'm a creature of habit, yo. Like I can't stop using F, uh, Fruity Slicer for some reason. I don't know. I might check something out in the future though. Like uh, I think Navi D has made some dope suggestions before and I really wanna check out some of the stuff he recommends. Okay, so now we have it in the slicer. Now just, we're gonna walk through the slicer real quick just so you can know a few different things. Like this is gonna increase the attack of your sample. So how it fades in. So you can see it's fading in a little softer. And if we reset that, it's a little harsher. Decay fades out the ending part of the sample. So you can hear how it's closing off a little differently. And we'll just reset that. Pitch is, you know, gonna change the pitch of the sample. Reset that. And then time stretch is just gonna move, you know, the swing of the sample a little bit, like as if you were drumming with the samples instead. And then again, you can select the beat slicing option here. Uh, the one half beat and beat options are usually gonna be the ones you use, but any of these other options are really good too. And then other than that, you can reverse samples in here by selecting one and then hitting this reverse knob. You can toggle between reverse and not reverse, which is a really cool effect, depending on you know how your samples end up fitting together. But um, that's basically Fruity Slicer in a nutshell. Um, there's a few more tutorials, which I'll link in the description that I've done on my channel, which go a little bit deeper into it. This is more about just sampling like Wonder Girl. So, you know, enough about the sexy Fruity Slicer. Let's get into actually making this beat. Okay, I, I like this. So now we're going to increase that attack a little bit. Another thing that Wonder Girl will really like to do is create textures using the melody. Again, she uses the melodies in a lot of different ways that people don't really think to do it. She'll use it to drum, she'll use it to do textures, she'll use it to like different chops for just like effects and stuff. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I create like a very texturized melody using the same sample chops over and over again. So we're gonna duplicate this Fruity Slicer channel and we're gonna raise the pitch for this one so we can like kind of do a little, you know, accompanying melody on top. Thank you. 
Okay, cool. And then we're gonna duplicate that one more time and we're just going to, for this last one, we're gonna bring it down an octave and then just do the same thing, try to add textures to it. So for this one, I'm actually just going to copy the first one pattern we made and add it and then kind of build it from there because I like that one. Okay. Okay, this sample is solid, bro. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna export this now. Okay, cool. So if we're gonna we're gonna lower this five semitones, let's go seven. So if we lower this seven, we also need to lower this seven. Okay, I fuck with I fuck with it reversed. Now I'm starting to really fuck with this. So now let's see if we can add some like accents. Because they've got some textures in here. So let's see. Can I do it an octave higher? Oh, that's fire, bro. Okay, so now we are going to export this entire thing as a sample. Now, first thing we're gonna do is check what does it sound like with the pitch lowered. Okay, I kinda like that. How does it sound reversed? This is, okay, this is it, this is it. Cause it brought back our original melody, but with all the effects in reverse that we added. This is literally what Wonder Girl be on, bro. I promise she be in the studio on some shrooms, bro. I promise you, bro. Like, I, we, we just prestige in here, bro. Like, I'm actually excited now. Okay, now we're gonna go crazy with the drums. We are in the 14 drum kit right now, so the last step of this is to just go crazy with the drums. 808s, hopefully Andrew tosses up some of my dopest drum programming and 808 programming tutorials on the screen and I'm gonna drop some in the description below just so you can check them out because I go super in depth in those videos talking about like how to exactly program. I'm gonna still talk through the process here of course because this is a tutorial after all but if you really want that detail of like me telling you why I'm doing something or telling you how to do a specific thing definitely check out those tutorials because they'll have like they'll answer like literally every question you have so I'm just gonna try to go crazy with this part and then if I do anything that's too wonky I'll try to explain it but I'm gonna be a little bit more quiet for this part for sure.
Okay, so that's basically the entire process. There's like a bunch of like more tweaking that I definitely want to do to this beat and I will. I just don't want this tutorial to devolve into like my desire to perfect everything. So like in case like I didn't really make it make sense throughout the entire process, like it really just is about finding a sample that is super like dope. Like look for something that's trippy that reminds you reminds you of like the video games you played when you were like a, like a little kid, like maybe six, seven years old. Stuff that kind of sounds like it might come from like an animated horror film or even just like horror type stuff. Things that are really, really trippy. And if you know anything about like hmm, psychedelics, then you kind of know a little bit more of like the vibe that I'm telling you to go for. But if you don't, like even just typing in trippy samples or trippy music to give you an idea of what you should be looking for. So from there, once you find a dope sample, again, I 100% recommend just checking out Tracklist. Again, they're even offering you like free like samples, like dead ass just you can literally use this music that is like licensed for free. Like they're literally allowed to arbitrate that for you as a producer. And I think that's just like crazy dope. So go ahead and check it out for free. And then from there, you really just want to lay down some really dope like textures and melodies on top of that it doesn't even have to be anything complex because you see we we didn't even add any melodies right we did like a like a bass plug like one chord and like that was it right and like some textures from gms if you want to know like the best vsts for stuff like that definitely check out my stock plugins only series because that's gonna just give you like a bunch of tutorials. Some that are actually based on Wonder Girl for just making melodies and structuring out beats from start to finish using stock VSTs only, stock melody, stock instrument VST. So definitely check that out. And then from there, it's just going crazy with the drums. You know, once you've chopped up your sample, once you've you know, added stuff to it, once you've flipped it again, if you want to just go crazy on the drums, try to just do something that's just completely futuristic, completely heavy, just completely melting your brain, heavy drums. And again, like I know, like I, I, I don't think I talked at all while I was programming the drums, but if you want like really detailed tutorials about that, I've got like at least 10 fire drum programming tutorials, like three or four of which have over 100,000 views and they will help you answer basically any question you could possibly have when it comes to trap drum programming. I even have a specific drum programming tutorial based on Wonder Girl style, which is kind of what I did in this video. I'm not saying I perfected it, but I'm definitely saying, um, I know what I'm talking about is all I'm saying. And I mean, I think it's helped people and I hope it helps you too, but enough talking, man. I really, really, appreciate you guys coming by to watch this video today i appreciate you guys just coming to kick it with me for a little bit go ahead and drop a like on this video if you did learn something new or if you just enjoyed chopping it up with me for a few minutes watching me cook up a beat um go ahead and smack that subscribe button so i can buzz away in your pocket the next time i have some dope new content for you follow me on twitter join my discord grab my free 14 drum kit it'll be in the first link in the description below join my newsletter I'm gonna let this beat rock for the outro, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Stay happy, stay healthy, and always be creating. Just make sure it's dope content only. I love you, and I'll see you soon.